This is a great Albertan right here. She's a hero because she stood up for someone she didn't know that was in need. Everybody? Yeah, I'm right here. Oh, Bob keeps telling me this is going to get easier. It's not. <laughs> but I'll keep doing it because it is the right thing to do. So I never know what I'm going to say when I get up here. If anybody follows my videos, I just start talking. So here's my speech. One question. How does a 61-year-old grandma end up helping four men that are in jail? Well, I went to Ottawa with the convoy. I, yeah, I was there from start to finish. And what I saw was the government lies. I saw the uh, mainstream media lies. I saw what the officers did, and it was horrifying. And on the way home, I heard about some people that had been arrested in coots. So when I got home, I started searching for them to see if they were out of jail. It took me a while, and I found four men, and I started, there they are. We've got Chris, Jerry, Tony, and Chris. So I found them, and I started posting on Facebook, trying to find their names. I started, their families started reaching out to me. I just started sharing, and the stories I heard were horrifying. Um, Innocent until proven guilty is a really simple statement. It shouldn't be presumed guilty and sentenced for a year and a half. And that's what's happened. And it can happen to any one of us because these four men represent justice. And if we don't have justice with them, none of us are going to have justice. And that's a scary thought that how can that happen? These. Three of these men are fathers, and one is an only child, a 79-year-old mother, and they're sitting in jail for over a year. How are we supposed to help them? If anybody has the answer, please share it with me, because I don't know what the answer is. The Independence Party is the only platform, politically, that will, will say anything. And I'm sitting here and I'm going, if nobody will talk about the elephant in the room, and it's a big elephant, how are any of us safe? We're not. No, we're not. And even 61-year-old grandma might be in trouble here. So, And I'm not even joking about that. I actually contacted an American man that I know is very strong. And I said, if grandma ends up in jail, God damn it, you come and scream for my safety because <laughs> none of us are safe. And every one of you, have you got somebody that's going to scream for you? No. Like, yeah, like... We need to stand up for each other, and we need to speak up for each other. And like I said, I didn't know who they were, but I have a 35-year-old son, and I thought, oh my gosh, what if that was him? Then I thought about the parents, and I thought, oh my gosh, these men may be adults, but they're somebody's boys. So then I started thinking about the parents, and then I started thinking about the seven children, and it's like, oh my gosh, we need to do something. I started posting and posting and posting and doing videos and nobody was helping. I, I'm still a little confused about that. But then Bob comes along and Bob and Dana have been pounding the road with me. Then other people have started coming forward and it took a while but we're here. Every one of you can make a difference for these men. Don't think you can't. Financially, they need help with lawyers. And that's a whole story on its own that we don't have enough time to talk about that. But the lawyers have been a nightmare. There's been crown interference. These men are up against a hard one and they can't get out. So how can we help these men as, as Alberta citizens? Well, share information. I can't believe how many people don't know these men are in jail. Did everybody here know these men were in jail? No. Well, you've got a great community because I'm getting messages all across Canada and um, we need to get more out here to, to learn that they're here. So I came up with um, a Facebook page called Alberta Political Prisoners. 
please go there and just share. And I mean it, like just share, share daily, share with anybody. Just get the, get the information out there and explain who they are. And again, if somebody, and I've had people say this to me, throw the keys away. They don't deserve any, any justice. Oh and I'm going, innocent until proven guilty. That's it. We don't need to talk about the details. Like, let's say worst case scenario, they're guilty. They still deserve their day in court because that's our justice system. And if we don't have a justice system, none of us are safe. So we need to keep saying, innocent until proven guilty. So we all know mainstream media, they, um, they don't say much about these four men. No. So I came up with a bumper sticker campaign. I figured, <laughs> let's go old school. We've got millions of vehicles across this country and I've got bumper stickers from East Coast to West Coast right now. So if you've got a vehicle, I always say you got a left side and a right side to your vehicle and it's valuable real estate. Please put a bumper sticker on there. And again, you might get somebody that comes up to your vehicle and says, what are you doing supporting those, uh, those murderers or attempted murderers or whatever they could say about them? You say, innocent until proven guilty. You don't need to argue, you don't need to defend them. They deserve the right to defend themselves. Letters for the men. Their mental health, let's just hypothetically say they're innocent and they're sitting in jail. What would your mental health be like? Sitting in jail for, for a year. Well, these letters have saved their lives. They talk about them all the time. They're getting dozens. In fact, we've actually shut the mail room down in Lethbridge. Yeah. So we do have the power. So if you can write them, please do. A lot of people say to me, what do you write? Well, you write about you. You write about your school system. You write about, you can't have more than four chickens. I don't know, like you write about what's going on out there because they get mainstream media and that's torture all on its own. So if you can tell them what's going on in your communities, please share. They want to know what's going on. They get 20 minutes in a phone call and they're talking to their loved ones. They're talking about their children. But you guys can write, and you can write letters, and they do write back. Well, Tony does for sure. He's, he really likes to write because, yeah, he doesn't have any hobbies in Medicine Hat. Um, the other guys have hobby rooms. Um, Medicine Hat, for some reason, doesn't. So he writes a lot of letters. So if you could share what's going on in your community, that would be great. And I do say, put your mailing address and your phone number if you want. Some of them will phone you. If you see a 1866 number, that's the boys, so don't ignore it. Um, please answer. Uh, Tony has been calling people, and he says it's helping him a lot, talking to people out there in the community. But some of the jails have been tearing off the return addresses off the, the envelopes, so please put your mailing address in the body of the letter. So right now, I'm putting a call to action. Please help these men financially if you can. I know a lot of people don't want to use the give, send, go. I will take e-transfers e -transfers for you and I'll put it into the e-transfer under your name or a, whatever name you want just so you can see I put it in there. Now I'd like to say a message from the four men. The four men would like to thank everyone and including the Independence Party for being allies for the truth and thank you for supporting them and um, just do something because doing nothing is not an option anymore. Okay, everyone. Have a great evening.